All right, guys and gals, welcome to an updated version of how to change the background color in WordPress. We're going to learn on your WordPress blogs not only how to change the background color of a page or a post, but also how to change the background color of individual pages and how to change the background color of individual sections on a page. And for fun, we'll learn how to put up a background pattern as well. You're going to learn a little bit of CSS and also how to use the right click inspect element tool in Google Chrome, which is the web browser I recommend everyone using. It just seems to work best with WordPress and you experience the least glitches and the best results in terms of WordPress, WordPress themes and WordPress plugins. All right, but we don't need a plugin to get started. Let's go ahead and just learn how to change the background color of this page, for example. So we're going to start by right clicking. And then we're going to hit inspect and you'll notice how I right clicked on the outer area where we want to change the background color. So right away, it'll highlight the right section here in the HTML and we can just go with the div ID content. We're going to remember that part div ID equals content. All right. We're going to take that knowledge back to our dashboard. So we want to click to the dashboard now and under appearance, we're going to click customize. So we're trying to get to the custom CSS window of your blog. If you don't have this area for some reason, you can install a custom CSS plugin because all we really want is this additional CSS box that looks something like this, where we can just write out lines and lines of our own CSS code. So we're going to start by writing pound sign content, open alligator bracket, and right away it will close our alligator bracket. And we're going to complete the word content. So it looks right and everything has to be spelled and punctuated perfectly in CSS. So then we're going to put our mouse in between the brackets and hit enter and give ourselves space to write out background. And then I'm going to write a colon. And now we can just write any color like green and hit semicolon. All right. And what that did is it made the content area a background of green. So WordPress and our version of WordPress knows that content is this area that's green. Your theme might be a little bit different because we're using the Astra theme along with the Elementor page builder. So what your site says is content might be a little bit different, but try that one out for sure. Of course, the colors can change and you might want to just try going with body. Sometimes that just works or even without the hashtag body. The reason we wrote that hashtag is because we had an ID when we right clicked. It said ID equals content. If you want to get a cooler color, you can always open up pixlr.com, enter, click open pixlr editor. And we've been using pixlr for years now. We're just going to click cancel here and then create new image. This part doesn't matter. We can just click OK. Now click in the color box on the lower left. That's going to give us all sorts of different color options. You can find really cool shades by clicking around and getting a new six digit hex. So we can copy that now, come back to our site and just paste that in instead of the red. Just make sure you include another hashtag. And there you go. You have a much more pleasing looking, nice, subtle pastel pink. All right, so that's how to generally change the background. Just make sure to publish it and we can open up our site in a new tab. But what if you wanted to actually just change the way that one particular page's background looked? or just one section. Well, let's try going to the publications page and we can see this background has been applied to anywhere that uses that hashtag content. Like in this upper section right here, if we right click, we can see that this section uses the hashtag content. We'll just scroll up and then we see content right here. So the pink is going to apply there. What if we want to get more specific? All right. In that case, we're just going to click edit with Elementor. And we just made this page using an Elementor friendly template, which is actually an Astra starter site. And we have plenty of videos on how to get those going, like our new amazing free WordPress tutorial, which you can find at the top of our channel. All right, so we're just going to click into an individual section now. For example, this section with the blog posts, click on the Elementor section settings and then click style and then background color. So this is a classic background, which you want. Just click the color box and then choose any color you might want. Super easy. All right, very cool. And of course you can paste in your six digit hex right here and it will create the color that you chose before. 
You can also use Pixlr if you upload an image to Pixlr. You can use their color dropper tool. For example, if I had a picture here and I brought my mouse out of this color wheel onto the picture, you can see it becomes an eyedropper. And you can just click anywhere on a picture you upload and it will select that exact color from the picture. Okay, so we're back in elementary. We've changed our background to green. Very good. You can also change the background to an image. If you just click image, pick a nice picture right here and insert media. All right, so that's how to change the background image. All right, and again, I do recommend you install Elementor and that way you can use Elementor friendly templates like this one. It would have been really difficult and almost impossible for me to create this template in as little time as it took to install this Astra starter template for Elementor. And instead of spending all the time to create these cool little lines, the dividers, the borders, the images, the buttons and everything that looks really good. I mean, that button alone looks just absolutely mouthwatering. We just installed Astra, Elementor, and a starter site template. So I really recommend you at least try that out. It is free. All right, so if we want to change the pattern, you could look up pattern BG in Google, and it'll give you plenty of patterns. I'm not sure anyone really does this anymore, but you can always just choose one of the cool patterns from Google like these subtle little circle plates here. Just right click and save image as. We're gonna call this one circle plates. And if you save any image from Google, please keep in mind it might be subject to copyright and please always give the proper credit that the author requires to the author. Okay, so we're gonna use this image and to get it in WordPress, you have to first upload it as a media file. So go to new media once you're there, you can click select files and we can find that in our downloads or wherever it is, probably in our hard drive because our computer is like super full from all these videos. And now we're just going to click edit. And what we want is the link to the file itself. So every file you upload to WordPress has a link. It's called the file URL. You just want to double click it and copy it. And now we're going to come back to that custom CSS window right here. And in the bracket, hit enter, then write background colon. And instead of just a color, this time write URL, open parenthesis. Oh, what are these? Um, is that a, what do you call those things? Whatever you call these things. Um, and in between these two things, just paste in that background image and then write a semicolon. All right, and lastly, we just want to delete this background here. Any background that's beneath another background will take over. So the CSS that's lower will always take over from the CSS that's the higher. So delete that and we have a really cool pattern and publish it. And again, please make sure to give credit where credit is due. All right, and now we're gonna uh, go to our site. We're gonna see how it looks and click on the hamburgers exit to dashboard, leave. All right. And now we learned how to make a pattern. So now you know how to set up a background color on WordPress, which is different from the stock white or gray. You know how to set up a pattern as a background. You also know how to change the background color of an individual section. And last but not least, you know how to change a background image. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a lot. Please make sure to check out more of our demo content and our demo sites. And most importantly, guys, please make sure to hit subscribe. If you learn anything here, that helps me a ton and shows YouTube that this video is worth something. And also, please make sure to hit that thumbs up or the thumbs down. Thank you so much. I'm Greg Ryan. I'll talk to you soon.